What is arachnoiditis? Okay, did everybody hear that question? If not, I'll just repeat it. What is arachnoiditis? Okay. Um, arachnoiditis is one of the most disabling and painful conditions. Now, today's seminar is on nerve pain. And this is a... Um, this is a neuropathic disease. That means the nerves have been damaged. They're damaged by inflammation of the arachnoid. Now we haven't gone over this portion yet, but the arachnoid is one of the membranes or meninges that surround and protect the nerves in the nervous system, the brain and the spinal cord. The nerves are like at the bottom, they look like that horse's tail we, we showed you, the cauda equina. The, the nerves are surrounded at the bottom by the arachnoid and all the way up to the brain. The arachnoid can become very inflamed because of reactions to chemicals, bacteria, viruses, or direct injury. Uh, the arachnoid can adhes down on the nerves. Uh, it's often seen from complications from spinal surgery or other uh, spinal procedures like epidurals. The inflammation can form scar tissue and adhesions and have the nerves actually stick together and it can be extremely painful especially in what we call adhesive arachnoiditis which is the worst thing you can really have with this. Sometimes you'll see clinical findings on exam that aren't real impressive, and even the MRI may not look that bad, but it usually lights up with what we call gadolinium. We discussed that a little bit. Um, I uh, saw it a lot when I was in practice, and right now we have quite a few people that have come to this event that actually believe they have arachnoiditis or have been diagnosed with arachnoiditis. Um, when I saw it in practice, everyone I saw had it was post procedure. Uh, it was epidurals, myelograms, post uh, post uh, spinal surgery. So I really haven't seen the bacteria virus uh, portion that much, uh, but it, it does exist. Um, the symptoms it's it's one of the most debilitating and painful conditions, at least in my view. And I think the statistics show that, although I don't know them off the top of my head. Uh, chronic pain, uh, it's a nerve pain, numbness, tingling, burning. Uh, it can, it, it involve, the involved extremities are uh, significantly painful. I saw it mainly in the area of the lumbar nerves being affected, the lumbosacral nerves because that's where most of the procedures were in the low back pain patients. Um, there can be bowel and bladder problems. Sexual function can be affected. Um, arachnoiditis can um, suffers can have lots of disability and therefore they can lose their job, have relationship issues, all the things we've been talking about with suffering. Um, the um, arachnoiditis patients are really difficult sometimes to work with because it's, in my experience, it's often doctors that hurt them, or at least the procedures that doctors were doing hurt them. So there's a lack of trust. It's hard to build that trust back up. Um, they're scared because they got hurt by something usually they didn't think was going to hurt them this bad they didn't even know it could hurt this bad um, so you know they're now left with a chronic disorder no known cure so you really have to build up trust and pain management is limited because the techniques that sometimes people use to give you relief are the techniques that caused this disease in a lot of people. So it's a very disabling disease with chronic pain and neurological deficits. It can lead to further spinal cord problems, wheelchair bound, uh, real disabling, lots of suffering, but it can be treated and it often takes quite high doses of medication. 
uh, at least in when I've dealt with it, uh, high doses of Neurontin, high doses of Lyrica, high doses of narcotics to bring the pain under a manageable situation and then there's dealing with the mind-body techniques to try to change the perception of pain, change the perception of yourself. Um, it's, uh, it's a tough road and uh, a lot of depression, a lot of counseling needed. Um, this is a, a group of individuals that needs a support group, needs family, needs friends to be there because it's a very difficult road to hoe. It's a very high incidence of, pe of individuals who have um, depression, suicidal thoughts. Uh, a lot of the overdosages I saw uh, after I left practice, both purposeful and not purposeful, were in arachnoiditis patients. It's a population very prone to um, loss of hope, and it, they need great support. Now we're going to go over some specific cases and and in the uh, program. Uh, be, find the best program for your persistent pain, which all you guys have signed up for. We're going to do that a little later. And we're going to go over some success cases and we're going to show you the options they chose. And we're also going to mention arachnoiditis when we go over some of the therapies in the program. So, but, um, I think they answered the question? Okay, alright. Let's move on now. Next question.